So something I see a lot with new self-publishers, as well as what I've struggled with in the past, is imposter syndrome. Let's get into four things we can do to eliminate imposter syndrome. So first things first, what is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern where people doubt their ability within a given topic and fear being exposed as frauds. So many people who are starting the process of publishing high content books will most likely feel this. Why would they be credible enough to teach a given topic? So let's get into the four things we can do to overcome imposter syndrome. The first is focus on your audience's needs. Imposter syndrome often makes us feel like we need to know everything about a topic to share anything about it. But the truth is your audience does not need a comprehensive encyclopedia. They need clear, concise, and accessible information. A good example will be learning a language. So it only takes about two to 5,000 words in any given language to be at a great conversational level. But Spanish, for example, has over 93,000 words. So you literally have to know 3% of it to go to any Spanish speaking country and be able to converse with the people who live there. So going into book topics, you really only need to know about 3% of it to be able to teach a beginner about it. Someone learning math for the first time is most likely going to learn the basics. One plus one, two plus two, and somebody teaching that to somebody doesn't need to be a math whiz or somebody who knows complex equations. You just need to know exactly what your audience needs, find out what they need, and put that inside your book. As long as you're taking your customer from point A to point B, they're happy. This can be done with five pages or 500 pages. It doesn't matter as long as you're relaying the information correctly and giving them everything that they need. So the second thing we can do to overcome imposter syndrome is simplify complex information. So you don't want to think of it as you're teaching your information to somebody because yes, in many cases, you're going to think you're not credible enough to do so. Your role is just to take complex information and present it in an easy to understand format. You really don't have to be the ultimate expert. Your value lies in making the information accessible and digestible for others because that's all books are. Even the best-selling books in the world, the information you can most likely find for free online, but what people are paying for is the access to it and knowing that they're not running in circles, consuming a bunch of information that's not relevant, they know the book is just going to be relevant for the specific topic. So the third thing we can do to overcome imposter syndrome is embrace your perspective. So your unique perspective and way of explaining things can make a huge difference for people. Find the information that the customer needs and think of the best way to present it with your own twist. A good example of this would be when I was in high school, a lot of the time, the complex topics that I was being taught, I wouldn't understand it just from the teacher's initial lecture. What made things click was usually just when the random kid who sat behind me, who also just learned the topic, just explained it in a different way that made sense. Your books are no different, and sometimes when somebody is learning a topic, they just need the right perspective to understand it the best. So the fourth thing to understand to get over imposter syndrome is sometimes beginners know best. So this is a quick snippet from a really good article which I will link below. Indeed, if we consider human cognition, we'd see that it's natural that experts have trouble teaching. Experts have deep knowledge structures. They are so experienced in their areas of expertise, they have forgotten what it's like to think like a novice. It's very common for experts to be so far down the line that they have no idea what the novice needs to actually learn the topic. So going further into this article, those who might expect to teach your organization's courses suffer from a another huge limitation. They simply don't know what good learning looks like. They tend to lecture. They don't check their learner's comprehension. They teach too much content overloading their learners. Just because you're an expert doesn't mean you know how to teach. It's very common that they're going to have too wide of a scope and just ramble on with a bunch of complex information. We can actually see lots of examples of this happening if you go to some of the best-selling books and read the reviews. Here's a review on a book that was written by an expert in the topic that has thousands of reviews. This book was 200 pages of infomercial selling the idea of polyvagal theory. Though I think the theory is valid, sure, but this book had such a roundabout way of trying way too hard to sell this theory. It definitely could have been condensed into a 50-page book easily. So right there, there's way too much fluff and information that's not needed in the book. It's very clear this book is just a lot of information and not actual actionable steps. More isn't always better and this is a great example that if you just had a simple book with some actionable steps and exercises, taking the reader from point A to point B, even if it was written by someone who has like two months of experience on the topic, the customer will be happy. Sometimes it just pays to be a couple steps ahead of who you're teaching because you know exactly what they're going to need to learn. So a bonus tip is why not try? Just go through the process and create a book. You'll never know how it feels until you try. And you might also be surprised in how it turns out. When it comes to publishing a book on Amazon, the worst case scenario is you learn how to write a book outline, you learn how to research a topic, you get a book written, formatted and published, you learn some organization and business skills, you go out of your comfort zone, maybe you even make a few bucks, and at the end of the day, maybe you do get a few negative reviews in which you can just take to make your book better because Amazon allows you to update your manuscript as many times as you want. 
People are just too afraid to go out of their comfort zone and that's all imposter syndrome is. As long as you don't go out of your comfort zone, you'll never reach your true potential. The more you throw yourself into the unknown, the more you learn about yourself and the more experience you gain. I can promise you I was terrified to start this YouTube channel and although I'm still learning and still improving every video, making these videos are night and day from when I started and I wouldn't have anything that I do now from this channel if I was too scared to try it. That's it for this video, we'll see you in the next one.